the, the first one is the full recognition that there are two programs that are supporting the agriculture sector in terms of the capacity of the farm to produce. Number one is the presidential input scheme. That program, as you will see as we unfold in the season, has many components and facets that is addressing the generality of the farmers in the main, the communal, the old resettlement, uh, the small uh, scale farmers, uh, which we refer to as Matenganika or the, the purchase areas, uh, and A1. The second program, uh, if uh, not the key program, anchoring in the main the A2 farmers and in some cases consolidated A1 or communal uh, as we look at maize production uh, the smallholder farmers can uh, consolidate their land to reach the minimum 40 hectares um, but then they are supported under command. The presidential input schemes are purely facilitating the capacity of the smallholder farmers. Those farmers do not pay back whatever they are assisted with. Command agriculture or special programs are very specific. The farmer is not receiving the inputs for free just to, uh, to buttress that aspect. And this is why in the uh, statutory instruments that have been referred to, there are um, uh, criminal activities that we will uh, deal with if farmers uh, kind of uh, abuse uh, the, the inputs. Uh, uh, these resources are not saying Presidential input is not an investment, it is also an investment. But the spirit must be that we must use the inputs that would have been given and we must return what we would have.